My name is Jana Michelny, and I am a singer-songwriter, originally from North Carolina, and I am Native American descent, the so Long Beach It was actually my choir director who heard me singing. I was actually an alto, and she felt that you know, I should be singing maybe, you know, more than just in the choir, kind of singing solo. And she actually was the first one. My parents had no idea about me singing at all. I was too shy. Uh, it's, it's kind of like, I, at that point, it was kind of accelerated very quickly. So once somebody just kind of gave me the bump to say, okay, you're, this is good, you're very good, so really work on it. I just kind of went full force. So I kind of accelerated fairly quickly. From that point to getting my first record deal was like two years. <laughs> so American Indian Story was a project, a concept album um, that came about really an homage to my Native American heritage. And it's a concept about a young girl, her name is Shakwana, and it's about her journey into the new world thousands of years ago, how she came in her tribe and how she discovered the, you know, they discovered the new world. And it's really kind of a parallel with my life. I mean, it's, it's nerve-wracking, but it's kind of, when it's your music, you, you want people to, to hear the lyrics, and it's exciting at the same time. A lot of songs I had actually written and co-written with my partner, Stephen Galfes, who's a legend in the music business. He produced and wrote for Cool in the Gang, Casey and the Sunshine Band, Gap Band, Cher. So I kind of, you know, I had that guidance, you know, with him. But we had written a lot of songs, probably about 30 songs, to put, you know, on the album. So it was really hard to to get the songs, you know, figure out which songs I wanted on the album. So, I mean, there's 16 songs in there. And I know it's a lot, but I just feel like I needed those songs to be heard. You know, I just felt like this was something I needed to do, and I needed to have that on, on tape. We had just finished the album, New Moon Born, um, last fall. It was maybe in October. We actually finished recording it. And with the whole election that was going on and the whole concept of change that was, that was brought about kind of inspired me a bit. And, you know, of course the song, A Change Is Gonna Come, is a famous, the famous Sam Cooke song. And it just kind of brought back, I mean, it just brought like really good vibes for me. And I'm like, you know, I really like this song. And not that I wanted to put a cover on the album, because it's not on the album, but I just, just like, you know, I feel like I need to do the song. But I felt like I need to do a music video too, just the visuals of it. And just, we kind of scrambled together, but it came together. It was kind of like it was meant to be, because it all came together perfectly. And I was just really honored to be able to perform this song. change It's been too living, but I'm afraid to die. I don't Hi everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I just want to say if you want to check out more about my music, you can go to janamashoni.com. My new album called Newman Born is available on the Smiley Records through Sony's Red Distribution. Um, again, on my website and it's great hanging out with you guys, and I hope to see you out there sometime in one of my shows. Thank you so much. Bye.